So this video, I'm going to talk about my personal preferences when uh, it comes to how to structure the files and folders of a React Native app. And the first thing that helps, uh, you know, kind of guide how you're going to do this is what navigation library you're going to use. Now, for example, Expo is working on uh, a new router. That, I don't know, it's called Expo Router or something, and it's a file-based navigation. So how you structure files and folders is directly going to map to uh, the navigation of the app, similar to Next.js. But if you're not using a routing library like that, then really you can structure uh, the files and folders almost any way you want. And so, so I'll first say there's not really a wrong way to structure it. Um, and if you can structure it any way you want, the first question you got to ask yourself is, is why are you going to have multiple files and folders anyway? Why not just make the app in one big folder just called app, you know? Or, or my, why only have one file or why multiple files? And to me, the answer to that question is it makes development easier and faster. So, you know, organizing files and folders in a way that it's, it's easy to remember where certain uh, pieces of the code live. It's easy to, you know, test them, things like that. The first thing I like to have in a separate folder is navigation and navigation-related code. I'll have... Um, code to set the initial layout and then any of the code that I use to um, show a modal or show an overlay or to push a screen, a pop a screen, will all live in a folder called navigation. So then the next folder that I'll have is for all my screens. And <clears throat> I'll go ahead and, uh, and, uh, and uh, talk about uh, screens and components together. So let me drag this one over here. So screens and components. And in, in my mind, the difference between a screen and a component, and some people might use these words uh, in a different way, is that a screen is, is a bunch of component, components together for a specific screen. So say you have an app with three tabs, you know, home, uh, workouts and then settings. Like to me, the home screen is 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 when you click on that home tab, everything in that screen. So a home screen may have ten components in it, and maybe eight of those components are ones you reuse everywhere else. You know, and maybe there's two components that are only used on that specific home screen. I like to have my home screen in the screens folder, the components that are only on that home screen also in the screens folder, but then any component that's reusable that I'm going to put in more than one screen, I'm going to have it in a, in, in a separate top level folder. So, so we have components here at the same level as screens, and then I'll have a components folder in screens that's uh, that's just components for the specific screens. The other uh, top level I'll have is models and or, or database files. And then at the same time, I'll talk about the store. Now, when I say models and database, I'm talking about... Um, say, for example, like a SQLite database. Basically, in my mind, models and database are, uh, are, are, are data structures that map to, like, s server data. So you have a database on a server, and you're going to pull in that data and store it in the app. And that's where I'm going to keep models slash, you know, database files in there. And so any type of service that I make to update those is also going to be in this same folder. And you, may, and you may be asking yourself, well, can't you do the same thing in store? And what is store? 
And the store is like the Redux store or async storage or any other like local storage that's not structured um, like a database. And I keep those separate because I, in my mind, it's easier to have two different types of persisted data. One is stuff that's going to be synced to a server, and the other is stuff that's going to be only on the device. So I'll have one more top-level folder, and that's going to be utilities. And the utilities is just, you know, it's like that drawer in the kitchen that you just put all your junk in. Oh, yeah, the junk drawer. That's what people call it, right? Okay, utilities like your drunk, junk, junk, junk drawer for your app. Got it. All right, utility is like your drunk, junk drawer, junk drawer, drunk, junk drawer. I got it. I got it that time. Junk drawer, junk drawer. All right, sorry about that. Uh, yeah. So utilities, <laughs> it's your junk drawer for your app. Um, and everything goes in there, you know, say, you know, just random functions you have to like process data or like, you know, say you have like, uh, a workout app and you store data in pounds and you want to convert it from pounds to kilograms. So you just have a little function in there. Um, you could maybe store just any type of like little configurations you have, it's really just the place for everything else um, so that the top level or root level of the app or, you know, maybe this is all in like the source folder. So at this level, you don't have a bunch of fire files cluttering that up. And I think this is this is basically how I would structure just about any app. And then, um, you know, make make some changes to this based on the specific app I'm working on. And, you know, and, and as it progresses, you know, if you're working on a really complex app with a hundred screens, then maybe, you know, this screen folder gets divvied up more, you know, and you put a bunch of, you cut a couple more subfolders in there. Um, but the way I like to think about it is like, if I click on the screens folder and I'm looking for something, can I find it immediately? And if I can't find it immediately because like it's confusing or I can't remember where this file is or where this code lives at, to me that's a sign that like it needs to be restructured. And there's absolutely no problem with restructuring um, the, the way your files and folders are ma made up, but like in really like any time, especially because, you know, if you're using VS code and like I figure most people do, if you move files and folders around, then VS code will automatically adjust your imports. And, you know, it's not, the, it's not a huge deal. So if you're ever worried about, oh man, I don't want to be like stuck with this structure, don't worry about it. It can change and should change over time. Um, so that's, that's basically my thoughts there. Uh, if you have any questions, um, share them down in the comments. If you structure your app in a different way, um, or there's maybe a few different things you do, you got some tips, you know, let us know also. And that's it. Talk to you guys later.